All right, guys, let's see what we have here today. This guy seems to have bought an auto sniper. That's a good sign. No, I don't know. Um, we're in the warm-up, as a lot of these have been starting from the warm-up lately, actually. But, you know, you're just taking some shots at the B right there and hanging out here in mid. Let's see what happens. He's going to make his way over here towards Banana. One guy behind that car. Really, I mean, in the warm-up, I'm just kind of looking to see if he's using any kind of uh, aim toggle. Because people can be really, really unpredictable. And there it looked like he was aiming on the guy, but he had seen the guy before he went in. Very quick reaction on that. Let's see. A scoping on the guy. Looked like he was scoping on the guy through the barrel right there. Kind of suspicious activity, actually, so far. Not enough to really say anything for sure, but definitely suspicious already. I can't wait to see what happens once the game actually starts. This guy here to the right, pushing up. Didn't seem to know he was there, he wasn't even aimed towards him. Hardly reacted to him at all. Uh, teammates are all shooting each other in spawn, but that doesn't really matter because like I said, it's warm up. Spam's a little bit there. Let's see if he knows this guy's here. Well, he didn't really come out on him. More of a recoil control thing. To get that kill. Okay, here we go. We're starting. Okay, so he's gonna make his way towards middle. Looks like one guy, two, two of them, three of them going banana, two of them staying mid. Pushing up. There is one guy over here. His teammate's able to kill that guy. This guy in back of sight. Looked like he was kind of aiming on the guy through the wall there. Not sure if his teammate had spotted him out first. He's gonna make his way back over here towards... Never mind. And the terrorists take that round without any problems at all. <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, so far, I do think this guy may be using a wall hack. Because the way he's aiming on people through stuff is kind of suspicious. Even in the pregame, like I said those couple of rounds, it looked kind of suspicious. See, he's doing that like flush at aim lock type shit. Either way, he's gonna make his way over here through a halls. There's a guy out by sight. And he spams a little bit, he isn't able to connect with any shots. And he really didn't come out with any knowledge of where the guy was, it didn't seem. Just kind of spamming, is able to get the kill eventually after spraying. There, it really did not look like wall hacks when he came out. He really seemed to be caught off guard by that guy. He's gonna make his way over here towards B, it looks like. Nope, mid. And there's two guys spamming down middle. One guy pushing into halls. Could be flanking all the way around. This guy fighting this guy in middle. His teammate gets the guy that pushed through halls, and there is one guy, or two guys left mid. And he's gonna make his way up middle. Let's see if he checks over to the left here. Does, doesn't see anyone, he's gonna go in. He gets shot in the back from the guy in cubby. Looks like he really didn't know there was a guy there. As of right now, even though I did see a couple small suspicious things, I'm gonna throw that to coincidence because on Inferno, honestly, because the angles are a lot smaller angles than a lot of the other maps, like narrower, I guess you could say. Uh, Pre-placing angles, you'll typically find yourself looking straight at people through walls if you watch your own demo on this. So even though there is a little bit of shadiness, it could just be attributed to how the map is laid out. Because like I said, all the angles are pretty narrow, so the angles which people play at have to be within those parameters. Still though, he's gonna make his way back here towards the middle. There's a guy left mid. Looks like he's just kinda of holding, his teammate kills that guy on left mid. He kinda of went in right there. I wonder if he uh, went in because the guy was peeking out and didn't want to get caught by him or if that was just coincidental. Throws a flashbang here, there's a guy here up on balcony. He's able to take him down. Felt like a weird shot right there, it felt a little bit laggy, mainly because of the uh, Go TV just seemed to kind of shoot him in the head even though his crosshair was nowhere near him. 
Could be because of the tick, could be because of lag. Could be a lot of different things. If it's not happening consistently, it's not really something we need to worry about. Last guy's over here by Cubby, and he's taken down. This guy's got two kills, 41 damage around, with 100% headshot percentage right now. Though the first kill was definitely not very impressive. It was a very big spray. He wasn't able to connect until that point. And that last one was a decent shot. He's going to kind of sit in here behind the smoke in the middle. I think they're going to try to push up. Looks like his teammate just shot him in the back accidentally, I assume. Guy to the right. He actually seemed to aim on him through the wall there a little bit. Still though, you know, right and left mid. Not many places to really play over there. So, I probably should take like a pro level demo and show you guys what I mean when I say that on this map, oftentimes people look like they're aiming on people through walls even when they're not. Guy up by car, he scoped his gun, he saw shoulder. And he took a shot and wasn't able to connect. That guy did do a little bit of damage to him. He's down to 55. There is a guy up here to the right. Looks like he's scanning everything. He sees him, takes a shot, he isn't able to connect. I think he's gonna. Ooh, he actually gets the kill. I actually thought he would go down there, especially with a shotgun. Still, though, him and his teammate actually are able to clean up everyone and take the site. They have bomb too, so they should be able to plant without any issues since the last guy is over at A. Calf takes down his teammate. There's still two guys in middle, so if he's going to be coming around from that side, it looks like he's going to have to deal with both of them. Suspect's over here by himself with three health. Bell does only have eight health, but Albatross is at full HP, so looks like uh, Calf is just going to try to save that AWP though. Making his way through that hallway. I think uh, Bell is looking for him, I think. He's not going to find him though. And... Ooh. Alright, he's going to make his way back over here. Seems to like to go towards middle. I haven't seen him go all at once. Uh, his teammate's kind of watching it, picking. Suspect's gonna make his way towards banana. There's a smoke banana and a guy, I think the guy pushed out by car. No, he didn't, he's still in sight. Guy left mid. And so he's gonna scope it, the guy peeks out. He's actually gonna get shot in the side from this guy pushing halls. Now that was actually pretty well timed scope. The fact that the guy pushed that smoke when it's off like that is kind of odd. Uh, kind of a cheeky play from the CT's point of view, but honestly, I really I, I can't I can't say that there was enough evidence there to say that he was walling really. Anyways, I know he wasn't griefing, no real external assistance. Didn't really look like aim assistance with the exception of that one round. Again, that could have just been lag. And vision assistance. Was well, a kind of couple kind of interesting areas, but overall just not enough to say he was cheating. Hope you guys enjoyed.